Welcome, everybody, to a little-known strategy game called Crusader Kings 3. This series, I have potentially a world first. I'll be honest, I don't watch other people play CK3, so someone else might have beaten me to it. Uh, but I thought this would be quite a fun series regardless, because we have a few mods in this mod pack that allow us to play places that we shouldn't be able to play quite yet. Full mod list, full Steam Workshop collection will be in the description, along with credit and instructions i guess if it's that complicated we'll see how it goes somewhere in in ck3 well there are a few places in ck3 that are currently unplayable that are present on the map places like the paper sea and one of my favorite starting points in ck2 of all time actually one of the provinces that got me into ck2 and that is my friends venice city of light city of magic we're going to be playing a Venetian Republic run using uh, some of the mods we've got in the mod pack. Again, all right, I'll do a full write-up for the description so that I don't, you know, spend too much time pontificating during this vital gameplay time. Long story short, we have the ability to play as Venice. Serene Doge Domenico II of Venice. We are not going to be playing as Serene Doge Domenico II of Venice because uh, he's a bit stinky, to be honest. We're going to be playing as a whole new fresh dynasty of money grubbers and the goal of this campaign is using a combination of mods uh, such as city of wonders um more holding slots more buildings mods we are going to be building a metropolis of wonders the greatest city mankind has ever seen and will ever see and hopefully i can do it before the venice dlc drops assuming the next dlc is a venice dlc i don't know that it is i i, I have no inside information so specifically the mod that allows you to do this is the more game rules mod but i thought you know just just playing uh basically just playing venice with that enabled in the current version of ck3 is essentially feudal um except on a fancy island and a bit more italian uh so i figured we'd, we'd throw in some of those other mods as well to add a bit more flavor and to add a bit more venice to the to the playthrough i will go through the rules i'll t i'll time cap when if you guys want to skip over this, if you're not interested in playing along, if you're not interested in what's going on in the background here, I'll go in straight to gameplay or, or straight to our character creation. But for the rest of you, uh, the, the mod particularly is, or the rule particularly, is this one here. Playable governments. Uh, non dynastic realms such as republics and theocracies are unplayable. It actually adds an option here to play as republics and theocracies. I assume that means playable popage. Um, man, maybe I should have done a playable popage for a third channel. Uh, okay, it doesn't matter. Anyway, experimental, try at your own risk. Uh, from what I've experimented with and from what I've tried at my own risk, it seems to work fine. Risk aside. So, I'll go through quickly and create the game rules. We're going to be playing very, very similar to, uh, um, the base game, except with the mod settings, what we're really interested in looking at here. Again, we've got a massive mod list. We've got mods like Viet, uh, which some of you may know from CK2. We've got a really cool mod that allows you to gain experience in skills that aren't your primary focus based on how many skill points you have in that. So, say, for example, you are trained as a steward, but you also happen to have 20 intrigue. You gain lifestyle experience in that as well, because it's quite clearly an, an integral key part to the character so i'll quickly customize this um and, and talk through some of the mods here and then we'll we'll dive straight into our custom doge skill levels that don't grant passive experience so this is the mod i was talking about here that that gives you uh every three months you gain one experience for every skill level up to level 25 um you can adjust that so you gain two skill points every three months three four um we'll set to 1.5 why not let's, let's give ourselves a bit of speed here so we can explore some of those other trades that i never touch um so what we're going to do here is the skill levels that don't give passive lifestyle experience we'll say that any skill above level 10 gives experience anything else we'll say is not important enough for the character to actually gain experience in and then cap it at 25 so it's not nuts otherwise it's basically like having two skills on focus at the same time um via so via is uh vanilla immersive events something i think it is oh god i might be completely wrong with that um it's a mod that adds more events basically fun little side events little distractions little uh character building things to flash out the world so for this one we're going to go for all events because honestly why not and the default setting is default crusader kings 3 of course Mana arms limit. Uh, this, so this is the uh, the additional rules mod. We're going to leave a lot of this to just the same um, because I don't want to upset the balance too much. We're already getting quite a big bonus from the from the additional points, uh, the, the additional experience points there. Uh, there are certain things we could obviously adjust here, but I think to be honest, I'm going to leave everything as is. Um, yeah, all looks fine to me. Let's do it then. Serene Doge Domenico the Second of Venice of House Contarini. Not for long, it won't be. We're going to make our own our own Dogedom. Right. So. 
First things first. I will also point out, we've got traits mods. We've got buildings mods. When I click on Venice, you're going to see that very quickly. It is a metropolis added by City of Wonders. We've got another mod that adds more holding slots. The goal of this campaign. Actually, you know what? I'll talk about that when we when we start our, our character screen here. Just for people skipping ahead. So... We have our custom character designer. We'll, we'll start working on our dynasty. We'll make it probably a branch of... Um, of what's, what's the base one? Contarini. We'll, we'll, we'll start a branch house of Contarini. So we've kind of got a, uh, the most fresh start possible here. Um, the goal of the campaign is to fill Venice with wonders. It is a metropolis. Um, for any of you who've been to Venice, I've been to Venice once. It is filled with just shit everywhere. Big old bridges, big old doges halls, uh, St. Peter's Basilica. It's got shit everywhere that you can see. Big old rivers with man on boats that drive them by sticks and not even petrol. So there's a lot to see. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to try and build that in CK3. We are going to build a crazy amount of, if, if I go to these here, you can see we've got great universities, great libraries, great cathedrals, great palaces, great harbors, great walls, great fortresses, and great, great lighthouses, etc. We're going to try and get every single one of those in Venice. It is going to be weird it's probably going to be overpowered it's going to be extremely expensive but it's going to be it's going to be venice ultimately even though it's not really very republic anyway do you want to design a custom ruler why yes i do that's why i press the button kill off the dynasty and inherit their titles should we go for a completely fresh slate obviously there's no titles to inherit we're a republic um we will play as a male because we are um it's it's patrician essentially and then we'll go ahead and kill off all these random italians right then okay so what age do we want to start as? Um, I think we'll go for a, a slightly older character. Let's go for like a 26-year-old 26 26-year-old 26 guy. And this is where it gets tricky. I'm thinking for a naming scheme. What about we like misspell businessmen? We always do naming schemes. If you've never watched any of our series before, we always do naming schemes. Um, I, I like the idea of misspelled businessmen. That's always hilarious. Can I look up? Haha, his name's Sturve Gerbs or... Something obnoxious like that. And then we all have a good laugh about it. And then it just makes me hate these series. Um, name our first character. We're going to call you Billiam. Uh, just Billiam. Uh, and then we'll give his last name, obviously, house name later on. Let's, let's. Oh, no, no, no. We need a last name. So last name will be like House Big Money. House, House Really Big Money. Oh, God. I can't just. What about just House Money? That's, that's, that's right on the nose, huh? Okay. Um, we're going to call our first character... Uh, we're gonna call you J J J Jeff <laughs> Geoff. <laughs> um, we're gonna call you Geoff. Um, B Bezor B Bezors. Jeff 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 Bez. Oh god, I don't want to get sued by him. Jeff Bezors. Perfect. Okay. Character customization. There he is. Jeff B. Source himself. It reminds me of somebody. I can't place my finger on it. Um, so we'll just go again. We'll try and keep it fairly balanced. We'll just modify his traits here. We'll pick one level two congenital trait and then just some random personality traits. Uh, education. I think we've got to count the coin, huh? Let's go for Fortune Builder. We don't want to be super overpowered coming out of the gate here. Not that I think we will be super overpowered going for Fortune Builder or even Midas Touched. Um, let's go back to our personality traits. What would he be? Greedy man. Agreed. Greedy, but diligent. you got to work hard if, you, if you're going to make all the money. We don't just want to make some money. We don't just want to make a lot of money. We want to make all the money. We want we want all the money in Europe and beyond. Uh, and I think he would be probably arrogant. Again, for any likeness to real life characters, nothing... It, purely coincidence. Oh, it kind of looks like the name of that man who's rich. Oh, what a shocker. Um, physical congenital traits. Let's go for an intellect trait. Let's go... What do you think intelligent? I think intelligence is probably an alright start. We won't go genius or anything anything like that. That's again, I'm trying to keep him relatively relatively down to earth here. And we're good. I think we're fine. Randomized name and coat of arms of character's house. Boom. Your son, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> oh god, it's not even like it's not even slightly subtle, is it? Created the cadet branch Laquila. We'll rename that in a second. And finish the character customizer. Boom. Serene Doge Domenico II of Venice found peace in Christ's embrace at the age of 58. He vanished without a trace. Some say he was murdered horribly. Oh, game over. That's... <laughs> That's not right. Hang on a minute. Through sheer willpower, I got it to work. Um, for anybody interested, if you do want to play along, go over to my Discord. I'm going to have to use screenshots and all sorts of things to walk you through this if you are interested. So go and have a look over there. Slight side effect. Uh, we are stuck on mainland Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we are Serene Doge, uh, Jeff Bezos, different face. I had to do something fuckery. Um, 
But Venice is our capital. Uh, you know, we've got the Kingdom of Venice as our primary title. For whatever reason, he's just stuck on the mainland. I, I assume he can't swim. Maybe. Anyway, here we are. Uh, Serene Dogedom, huh? So I had a look at the mod page, and it's intended as kind of a challenge run. Because apparently there is no succession. If we die, the people of Venice elect a new mayor. There's no way we can influence that. So essentially, our goal right now is seize the republic or it's a game over so we have to very very quickly add a succession law basically um or, or something to, to 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 change things or or to to kind of save ourselves otherwise we are going to get a game over but a few choices i mean there's feudal elective obviously saxon elective scandinavian elective tanistry elective that'd be quite nice uh i guess we need feudal elective right 1500 uh sorry 1100 uh that we that we don't have feudal elective is basically just a bloody republic anyway uh, <laughs> I hope it keeps us as Doge. I hope we don't become a king. That would be boring. I'll rename it. I will, I'll go into the game and I'll rename it if we if we become uh, if we become a king rather than a Doge. Right then. So what have we got? We have the ability to create a cadet branch. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing that. Found a holy order, consecrating the bloodline, strengthening the bloodline, dynasty, many crowns, found a new empire. So basic stuff there. We've got an option to craft an item. So there's this incredible looking mod premise I'm, i think i'm gonna use i forget the name of the mod i wouldn't even know how to pronounce it it's something like god hair or, or something like that um which is a a mod that's in development but they're releasing parts of it piecemeal for the community to do what they like with so they've got kind of an open source policy which is the best policy because it means we all get very nice mods so big thanks to those guys um but one of the things i've added is, a, is an artifact system um basically what you would have from ck2 but in CK3, we don't have any artifacts right now. Apparently, they've added some to the game. Um, don't know how we find it or see characters that have artifacts. I'll look into the mod a little bit more. Obviously, it's not super relevant right now. Um, but they've added a few to the game, and it, the, the intention is to have other people add, uh, add, add their own artifacts, essentially. Use it as an artifact system until we get an official one. So that sounds pretty fun. We've got the opportunity there to craft our own. So we'll check that out eventually. More bloody money down the drain. Ah, he moved over. Hey, we're... <laughs> It must have just taken him a little while to swim the gulf. Right, so, um, obviously we get some, some mainland titles in, uh, in CK3. So we got the Grand City of Veneto and a Cho Chogia. Um, we're not supposed to have that one, so I'll give that one away. There we are. Right, so let's get some control over the place. We did essentially just do Serpa Republic. So let's get Mayor Ugo. You're going to help me out. Uh, Steward is Mayor Ugo. Marshal, how about Mayor Ugo? I'm seeing a problem here. Um, it's just the same man wearing a different outfit. Mayor Ugo, send for my chance, so he runs out of the room and quickly puts on a different change of clothes. Um, right, this is a bit of a shit. Uh, we'll make him steward then. And, uh, between the two of us, Ugo and Luigi, how could I forget my man Luigi, we will run Venice. Um, into the ground, most likely. I think the first thing to do, the farmer needs a wife. Uh, and you can see some of the new traits that we've got here. So this lady is, is fun, for example. This lady is a coward and treacherous, uh, my type of person. We've got, uh, shy, worst trait in the game. Don't even talk to me about shy. Um, there's a load of new stuff added by this mod, um, that, that just adds dog. Hmm. Okay, um, she's adorable. I hope that's no relation to the fact that she's a dwarf. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um, so we got, who was that? Leofween is beautiful and hale. That's quite good. Um, we've just got a lot of beautiful characters. There's a lot of, like, really good characters kicking around right now, huh? We got our choice, beautiful, uh, Amazonian. I suppose we are technically a king tier character. It doesn't have the CK2 mechanic. Obviously, in CK2, Republic rulers have to buy wives. We don't have that, um, because we're not supposed to be doing this. We're breaking all the rules here. Uh, a genius would be a great start. Oh, my God. Fucking hell. If only I could spell it, huh? Um, we've got Catcher Bostad, um, Weezing, and Genius. Traits congenital. Tiny penalty. Um, she's 32. Oh, she's that, whatever that is. Bogomolism. Um, 32. It's, it's a, it's a, it's might be worth the risk for genius. Alternatively, there was that woman who's beautiful and like uh, something else, right? Let's take a look. Um, Debbie Lane. Holy shit, look at you. Wow. Lunatic. Congenital lunacy. Feeble. But she is intelligent and beautiful. We could, we could really roll the dice on her. You know what? She's got spirit. She's got spunk. I like her. Well, she will have in a minute. All right. Anyway, welcome to <clears throat> welcome to court, Debbie Lane. Let's see what you can do for us. <laughs> well, let's see what we can do for you, madam. Greetings, Serene Doge Jeff Bezos of Venice. Accept your marriage proposal. You'll be joined with my acquaintance, Debbie. 
Hello, Debbie. Oh, you don't look anything like your picture. Um, well, let's immediately... You know what I gotta do. I am immediately gotta start romancing her. Serene Dojeressa. Dojeressa Debbie. Oh my god, I couldn't come up with a better wife myself. Damn, I shall sing you the finest love ballad. Uh, do we actually get to sing it? Oh no, she doesn't. We don't get lyrics, unfortunately. You found the perfect classic Norse love ballad. Uh, it suits her perfectly. Oh, she's Norse. Where, where's she from? Just, just, just Norse, huh? That's fine. Um, I have a beautiful voice, my lord, Debbie says before she hurries off. My friends are quick to follow. I stand up on shaking legs, watching them disappear into the hedges, my heart beating harder than ever. Debbie won't resist my chance for long. That isn't an impression of anyone. Uh, legally, I l would like to disclose, again, uh, any uh, potential... Uh, relation to a real character is, uh, real, real character? You know what I'm saying. Anyway, with my marriage to Serene Dojessa Debbie, the Ram expects us to throw a suitably extravagant wedding. Oh, bollocks. Um, who pays for their own wedding? Or we take the prestige. We need that so we don't get a game over. Debbie, you might, you might have saved the round, brother. A romantic, embarrassing odor. Despite my determined attempts, I'm failing to strike up a conversation. She's probably rendered speechless by the intensity of my affections. Suddenly, the loudest fart I have ever heard erupts from our table. A few of the guests are looking at Debbie. I must save her. To be fair, probably fucking... What's that? Oh, impotent! I thought it was lover's pox. Debbie struggles to perform in the bedroom. It's probably because she's always fucking frazzled, pal. Put the ball down, Debbie. We've married a lush. Uh, it was me. I farted. Madame, it was I who did the fart. She's relieved. Angry. I bet she's bloody relieved. You fuck it. What have I married here? What a state. <laughs> Sweet lebby day, lebby, lebby daby. I, I, I kneel before her. My only desire is to bring you honor and happiness. Pray tell me, how can I prove my love for you? Serene Dodressa Debbie hesitates. Her cheeks turn red. I mean, they're already fairly red. By God, I hope she's pleased and not embarrassed. So lay a wolf for me and bring its pelt. Then we may continue this conversation. Uh, we're fucking dead, Debbie. You've sent this man onto his grave, brother. Uh, your wish is my command. You die. That would be so good. Like, 1% chance of death would be phenomenal for that, wouldn't it? Bribe a hunter. Um, to have to us, we're greedy. But it's a guaranteed pass. We're a doge. Come on. We, of course we bribed the hunter. Money is the answer to all of life's problems. Sure, we're greedy, but we're not going to risk our life for this woman. Done. Easy, no problem, pal. Lady Debbie, let me prove my devotion to you in any way you deem fit. She ponders the request for her before her face lights up again. You should uh, be able to sustain yourself on nothing but my love for many days. Oh, uh, <laughs> drink her bathwater. Uh, my devotion will carry me through, Lady Debbie. Uh, 150 prestige, 15 opinion, 67%. Or we could... I won't shun a chunk or a piece. Uh... Don't tell her we're shunning a chunk. That doesn't sound very good. We're going to be shunning a chunk if we're successful. Oh, no. We failed. Damn it. Uh, my sweetness is in danger. I'm a saver. Someone's climbing up the tower. Into they obviously don't know she's in there. Guards, guards, there's an intruder in the tower. No, we must save our life. Just as we skin that wolf, we're going to skin her. Sounds from the struggle above the greatest motivator I've ever known. Without care for life or limb, I hoist myself through Serene Dojeressa Debbie's window. I feel as if I've plunged into a frozen lake. She's dead. Oh no, wait. Uh, Debbie is on the floor. Intruder pushing her down. Gleaming blade between them. With a roar, I grab the villain by the collar and throw him into the wall. Oh my god, did we? I don't think I've seen this outcome. Normally she stabs the, or, or the, the woman stabs the or the man. I don't know who you're seducing. I don't care. Uh, whoever stabs the other person. Someone's getting stabbed, okay? Her. Uh, a sweet kiss is all I desire. No. Milady, I will never let you get out in harm's way. 750 prestige for that. Wait, we didn't gain 700. Did she gain 750 prestige? Who gained the prestige there? Maybe I misread. I was going to say, that's it. We've got our law already. To be fair, we're almost there. Um, in our identity. Shut up. We'll deal with that in a minute. Right. Okay. I think we'll go down. Well, focus. Just got a strange feeling, you know? Um, issues. <laughs> Tell me about it. You don't need to fucking remind me, pal. Um, oh, look at this. Dominico Money. Oh, he's our distant relative. Dominico Money, irrational blackguard. Uh, he's he's a great uh, brother. You are you are a distant relative, a, diff a distant cousin. Join me. You shall be my. I shall assign you chancellor. We need a marshal. We've got Luigi. We can't have the <laughs> secondary goal of the series. A wander across, wander in every slot in Venice. Secondary goal is to have an entire council of Luigi's. I won't rest. What is that trait? Motivational leader. Wow. That's quite cool. Um, Luigi, join me. Luigi 2. 
Then we need a spy master. Oh my god, look at him. What a what a boy. And what is that one? Fearless. Fearless, vengeful, zealot. Wow, he's a great guy. And then I need a spy master. Do we have another Luigi around? Uh we got Jacopo money. Oh my god, he's got 22 stewardship. Okay, you're recruited as well. Um Right, okay, let's get let's get Gerard. Gerard? I don't know how you say that, but he's he's on he's on board. Right. Mayor Rugo, it was me and you till the bitter end. Unfortunately, three weeks later you've been you've been fired because it turns out you're terrible. Look at this lineup. Dominico money. We've got the two monies, the two Luigi's and Gerard. Gerard, whatever his name is. Right, gimme uh Court politics, no. Uh, manage domain. Court politics would be pointless at this stage, right? Because we're not going to be fabricating claims. We're not going to have a war or anything. Give me, give me some money. Yeah, Debbie, help me out with that. Right, let's get um, let's get Luigi. Luigi, I need you over on Mestra to go and sort out the control over there. There are many nomad empires, some quite large and some quite small. But today, I met an elderly wise woman who, and a self-proclaimed seer who says she's met the greatest of these empires. She says in the not-too-distant future, a great conqueror shall come from the steppes and destroy all kingdoms and empires in his path. If not, the entire world. Ha, as if that would happen. Many nomad hordes can we go, what will make this one different? Is that to say that the Mongols... The Lord shall be born grasping a blood clot in his fist, the seer proclaims, and the mighty warriors shall pour forth from the steps like water flows down a river and wash the world in blood and death. Wow. This reminds me of my favorite Cannibal Corpse song. She laughs at my doubt and says in a chilling tone, This man, this instrument of war, this instrument of the divine is not to be trifled with, for it is the very fist of God to punish all in their wickedness. By his arrows, the dread jack... Dra Fucking hell. The Jade Dragon to the East shall perish. Under the hooves of the riders, the Rajas of India shall fall one by one against this dark armor forged from the very sins of mankind. Oh, for God's sake. Even the fearless sword of Islam. Available on Steam. Buy it today. And Crusader Kings will do naught but scratch the bloody messenger. Ha! The Jade Dragon cannot possibly fall. Um, sounds scary, but the sword of Islam is stronger. Surely the Crusader Kings will have the zeal. So we can pick either prestige or piety. Um, I'm going to take the prestige. Thank you, old woman. What a bizarre event. Can create the Duchy of Venice. Do I want to keep the Duchy of Venice? Gives 300 prestige. Yes, I do. I've changed my mind. Right. Um, Council. I keep pressing C for Council when obviously it's F4 for for, for, for Council. You collect me some... That's the stupidest thing I've ever said. You collect me some taxes. You're already on it. What can we do for gold? How does this game work? Um, <laughs> ah, gold and obligations. Ah, oh, sorry. I forgot. That is the... That's a pretty essential way to make some gold. All right. We'll just let him kind of get some experience, take up some lifestyle, and then we'll... Take golden obligations, and I will I will tax every motherfucker in my court. <gasps> she did it, even though she's impotent, which I think is the wrong word to use for a woman, but that's okay. Um, I am looking forward to our lunatic delicate son. This is going to be phenomenal. God, I hope we... I, I genuinely really want a lunatic child just to, just to really start things off on the right foot. Ah, it's my, my distant cousin, Jacopo Money. I saunter between the markets of, uh, of Venezia. A heavy pouch tugging up my belt. How do I make this coin work for me? I admire the words of the local smith. Good steel, a solid investment. My steward Jacopo suddenly appears at my side. A word of advice, my liege. I was going to give him a funny voice, and then I thought that's a bit racist, so I'm not going to do that. Have a look at the Mason's workshop. I might. I might still do that. I'm not making any promises. Their wares might be simple, but their potential is great. Invest in the smithy. Uh, we gain smithy investment, giving army maintenance. Invest in the Mason's workshop. Um, whoa. Building construction time minus 15%. Oh, that's the... Wow, that's really good. 25% chance of a failure. Turn a quick profit. If we turn the quick profit, we've only got to save up a little bit of Dogecoin to... There we are. To make the title of the Duchy of Venice. And then we made the title of the Duchy of Venice. We've got enough... Almost enough prestige to make the... Uh, to, to change the law to feudal elective. And I swear to God, if it makes me a king rather than a doge, I'm going to be very angry. Look at the gold we've got coming in. Holy shit, 25% extra because we're greedy and well focused. Wow. And speaking of, did you give birth to that? That is a fucking four-year-old, my man. Are you all right? Oh, <laughs> I hate the fact that his description is bold maniac. Oh my God, he's incredible. <laughs> the one time I asked for the lunatic, the delicate lunatic, it gives me a freaking beautiful, intelligent kid. Jeff Bezos money. No, I'm not naming him after me. Jeff Bezos the second not gonna happen. We're gonna name you um, We're gonna name you uh, Jill Jill Bates uh, Master Bates welcome much better welcome Jill Bates with Cis Alpine. What is that? Uh, Part of Latin group. Okay, fair enough um, uh, Lombardy. Oh, it's, it's like Lombard then basically um, Oh interesting. So there was obviously a Lombard culture. Is that man wearing a bucket on his head? Hello? That's a hell of a helmet. Um, there was obviously a Lombard culture in, in CK2, but I guess they've, they've renamed it for 
for this one. Somebody say golden obligations and all my family's at court. Oh, are they all broke? What's going on there? You're part of my dynasty. Give me some money. Oh, do I not have a weak hook on you? Uh, we don't. Distant, uh, too distant, a dynasty member? I don't quite know how it works. What happens if we open the... Oh, he's house head. Well, I can't then. Domenico money. You're going to be Domenico drowned if you're not careful. Pergonan again? Well, to be fair, uh, the the intelligent... No, 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 no. Beautiful is, is plus 30%. That's not only a minus of 50%. Uh, what did I just say? And then that's minus 20 overall. Does, what, does lunatic... Lunatic gives no fertility negative. Feeble, bizarrely, gives no fertility negative. Drunkard also bizarrely gives no fertility negative. So it's only a minus 20% and she's lustful. So actually she's plus 5% even though she's impotent. Maybe they gave her impotence so that she wasn't like a, just a baby machine. So that she was, wasn't just spewing kids from here to Norseland, wherever she's from. I hate the way she's bugging out like that. What the fuck's going on? Oh no. I was outside the... Oh, God, now we found out what's uh, outside the birthing chamber which meant it feels like a lifetime. Debbie Scream seems to have ceased, and Babby, Babby have, have kill. No. Why, St. Bridget? What have I done to deserve this? Oh my god, she died as well? No. It's just me and Gil Bates. Wow. What a story. And now he turns to violence and anger. Yes, this is character building. I love it. Uh... I can't go on much longer. His whole world was taken from him. But should he live for Gil Bates? You know what? Let's live for Gil Bates, at least until he's educated. Like a responsible father. Right, let's educate you. Um, Gil Bates' money becomes your ward. Absolutely it does. I'm going to train you to count so many coins. He's so pensive already. Look at this. One years of age. Looks like a four-year-old. Apparently missing an arm. And ready to tackle deep finance. Uh, not endorsed by my archbishop. Luigi, come on. Luigi, we go back years. Right, I'm going to start swaying Luigi. Ooh, more lifestyles. Okay. Um, I'm the tax man. Ski, bop, bop, bid, up, beep. And how are we looking for... Is that not... Oh, you thought that would have added to your monthly income, but I guess not. Oh, hang on. It's not... Was it tax? Collect tax. Ooh, I'm thinking of the other one. Don't ignore me. I don't know how this game works. Luigi, what have you done? The Catholic world has been a port to learn that Luigi has been lying to local priests. They've been tricking him to acting on false information and to advance his furtive schemes. You stinky man. Well, scandals in the clergy are nothing new. It's disquieting once we curse so close to home. Luigi, look, I'm going to be honest, my man. I'm going to forgive you. Am I? Condemn him? No. Defend his character publicly? No. It cost me bloody prestige points. I really, I really wanted to win him over because I like money. We're greedy, and if he endorses us, we get money. So it makes sense in the character's regard to defend his character publicly. However, Luigi, I've got to write some, got to write up some laws before we do that. Otherwise, you are going to potentially ruin the game. Add laws, uh, Luigi. Sit over there a second. Uh, let's do it. Feudal elective. What else have we got? A Saxon elective we can't have. Scandinavian elective we can't have. Sanitary. I, I assumed we couldn't have them. Thought I would double check. Boom. Are we still Serene Doge? We are! Glory! Okay. Um, now what? Feudal elective. How does that work? We have an active election. Nominate successor. Yes, it fucking works. Freeze Frizzola or Salio. Who? Close family claimants and electors. No. Who's she? Electors. There's, there's me. Only me. How do I elect? No, I don't want to... Fucking Frizzola or Celio. Get out of here. Is it because my child is a child? And not a, not a full-grown human being? He's not he's not ready. Maybe? Oh, God, I hope so. What's the rulers and vassals? Candidates. Close family members, claimants and electors. Be a, a close family member who is not in line to inherit a theocracy or a republic. Be claimant to a title who is not in line to inherit a theocracy or a Be a valid feudal elector to this title. Oh, God, why is she allowed? Is she aligned to something? Uh... Mother of Ernst. Located in Provence. You picked a random woman. I mean, it is House of Salio. Uh, I'm going to, by May, murder you dead. 34%. I'm not going to murder you dead. Oh, God. This may have... All right, Luigi. Come back. All right. He's, he's a good guy. I love him. Me and Luigi, go, we go way back. I remember when it was just me, Luigi, and Luigi. Paulicians in Opland. Why do I care about... Opland? Have I inherited something that I'm not aware of? 
I don't care about that. Get out of here. Oh no. Oh, I guess we'll uh, 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 we're elect Fri 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 Frizzola. Um, otherwise, we. She's my heir. She's no longer my heir. <laughs> oh no. Uh, don't panic. This is a minor issue. I have I have magic fingers. I can fix it. Doesn't matter. While walking across the room, I stubbed my toe. Ow. You gain one stress. I'm telling you right now, mod maker, whichever whichever one of you added this, you do not gain one stress from stubbing a toe. That is many more stress than that. Well, I suppose it depends how hard you stub it. I stubbed my toe so hard once that it bent the wrong direction. That was a lot more than one stress, brother. It was a it was a right angle. My toe went from went from obtuse to reflex. Right, give me a give, what's the other one? Acute. Acute, obtuse. I don't remember. I don't know. I didn't exactly have the right angle on it. Right, okay, here we go. Um, give me some. What do I want? Um, this is my swamp. War profiteer. Hedegeld. Um, I would like to be likable. No, soon forgiven. Monthly tyranny. I think I want any of these. These are all garbage. Um, we could go avaricious. I feel like that's... The thing is, we're not going to war. We haven't got any vassals. Extort subjects, I guess, might work. Um, the issue is... If we get a rebellion in Venice, we're going to have to raise troops on the mainland, which means we're always doing a naval landing into Venice. And it's going to cost gold to embark. So I'm probably not ever going to extort subjects. Republican ruler opinion, actually relevant this time. Man at arms maintenance per dread. We're not going to be very dreadful. We've got two provinces. Golden aplomb. That's not bad, but still not relevant. We may, if we stub our toe another thousand times, it might be relevant. Can sell titles. See, that one's pretty good. Then avaricious that gives the taxes. Oh, they're all bad. Um... What about, what about, oh, what about construction time less? Yes, 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 because we're building many wonders. Maybe it's because we have the Duchy of Venice. Maybe I need to change the Duchy of Venice to also be feudal elective. What, what's our, what's our primary land title? Grand City of Venice. Male preferential Republican law. Oh, maybe that's to do with it. Maybe that's the problem here. Uh, what else we got? Veneto. Ooh, that sounds like it could be a concern. Okay, okay, okay. It's not a problem. It's okay. That's fine. I, I think the issue is uh, the kingdom is now elective and the, the actual landed title is Republican still, um, which I don't think we can really do much about. So let's see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Basing the mints, you wouldn't. <gasps> is this added by a mod or is this, is this paradox? There's debasing the mints. I had no idea this was a thing. Uh, mint the silver coins to facilitate trade. We gain development growth. Garbage rubbish. Mint the coins imprinted with my own visage. That means face. 350 gold. Uh, sorry, prestige. Actually, to be fair, that wouldn't hurt. Or debase the mints. 100 stewardship lifestyle. And we potentially save a fortune on debasing the mints. He's done it. This is officially groundbreaking stuff. The first ever mints debased in Crusader Kings 3. Fucking phenomenal. Gonna get a professional workforce. And then let's see if we can build a wonder. What can we build here? So we've got the Doge's Palace. Um, hostile raid time plus 50%. Holding taxes plus 50%. Ooh. Uh, Defender advantage plus 10. Oh, just a load of... A load of strength. Because we're playing on a single... Okay, fine. Duchy building then. Um, what would it build? What would give gold? Tax offices. Leisure palaces are both quite nice. Ooh, the tax offices though. Holding tax plus 10%. Ooh, that seems on brand. That's a lot of money too. Um... Royal reserves are quite nice. I like the I like the leisure palace too. The leisure palace is kind of my go-to one, but I, I'm I'm happy to go for the taxes this time. Bearing in mind we are we are Venice. What we're we talking about? Of course we want. Look at that. Plus twenty percent taxes when we get to a magistrate's court. Now let's talk about our first wonder. Um, very expensive. Fucking hell. Yeah, very very expensive. Um, I guess we probably want like a great harbor. Three point eight per month, and we get thirty percent growth. Um, Grand Fortress would be quite nice. Grand Great Lighthouse. Oh, that's really good. 25% host, uh, plus, plus holding tax. Plus one tax per month. I mean, how much is Great Lighthouse? 2,800. And what was the... Um, what was the port? 3.8 and 40% development. Oh, yikes. That's a, that's a hard one, huh? That's really tricky. High enough Metropolis upgrading the main building. Metropolis cannot build Metropolis unique buildings until stage four. Oh, we've actually got to upgrade the city. Provide a bit more. Whoa! <laughs> oh, excuse me? Um. Well, that's going to be a lot of saving up. 
I guess we're going to need a lot of intrigue and a lot of golden obligations. Let's get remarried then. Uh, Leah Fwin, you're pretty good. Beautiful hail. Um, she is possessed and it's congenital. Uh, what does that do? Attraction opinion. Lifestyle experience plus 10% done. Hey, uh, no, no question at all. That sounds incredible. Boom. Give me that possessed wife. I am going to romance her, but I am worried that Debbie will crawl out of her grave and strangle us. So we're going to just give it a go. Oh my god, I'd have to abandon swaying Luigi. <laughs> he'll forgive me. I, I know Luigi. He'll, he'll, he'll not worry about it. Uh, ooh, critical to give our wife a gift. Bollocks. Um, oh, our stress level's quite high. What can we do? Host a feast. That seems fairly decadent. We'll charge people entry, obviously. I'm not a fool. Someone's... This man... Uh, Mayor Ugo, sorry. You, have you punched my wife in the face? What have you done there, fella? What's going on? Angry that we sacked him from the council, so he just bottled my wife. Stable hands. Save those people from themselves. He actually did. No, she fell off a horse. You moron. Okay. I, I thought that... <laughs> I thought that Ugo just punched her. Knocked her lights out because we sacked him. There we are. Every guest gains 20 opinion of you. All... All my wife. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, we were going to give her a gift anyway. Now we've kind of avoided the uh, avoided the penalty from it. Gets into it's really just gets into the habit of doing this, doesn't he? Uh, it was me. I farted. Um, Freda was not the one that farted, so she lost distinct opinion of us there. Distinct. Has a climb on. Oh, hello, Duchy of Lombardy. Okay. Um, chronic headaches for ten years. No, we can't do that. Um, enough. You're bo Hang on. You're telling me that Ugo is so boring, he gives you chronic headaches for 10 years. That's mad. Okay. Uh, enough. You're boring the lady to death. Yeah. Mayor Ugo, you've already punched her in the face once. I saw you do it. Don't tell me ototherwise. She's getting very pregnant. We don't need to seduce the boys. We're already in. Okay. Um, centralization. Development growth in the capital. That, if we can get the... Um, if, if we can get the port, is gonna be mad. Earl William of Gloucestershire. Never trust those people. Uh, was his name, last name Longspee? <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. We ca I can't defeat a man called Longspee. Uh, a jewel proof who's worthy. Oh god, we are going to get our ass handed to us. Five versus four. You know what? Maths never lies. My defeat at his hands was painful and embarrassing. <sighs> I'll have my vengeance. Trust my... W okay, so he's going to keep courting her. He will fail. He will fail. The songbird is in danger. 45% chance of success. Come on, you can do it. You've done it before. Although, granted, the last one wasn't exactly much of a catch. Go. We've actually done it. That does say has happened. You gained 750 prestige. Oh, has happened. Overall, we've gained 750 prestige. For, throughout the whole event, I think is what it's trying to say. Fair enough. And there we are. We have another soulmate. A possessed, beautiful woman. With the babe cradle in her arms, her eyes... Gleaming with burning conviction, we want to name our son Tangil. Tangil? That's a horrible name. Tangil's fucking awful. I'm gonna call you. Uh, uh, I'm gonna call you Stephen. St Stephen? Okay, hang on. Let's, let's call him Jeevan. Uh, Jeevan Stobbs. Jeevan, Jeevan Stobbs. Welcome. Jeevan Stobbs. Much better. That is much better. Jeevan Stobbs money. It's never going to get old. Right, you can become my ward. Now, I wonder, because we've got two kids, whether we can elect one now. It's still just bloody free, free, free Ozza. <gasps> house head of house money. Mo money, mo problems. Oh, definitely mo problems, given that we're still on the edge of a game over. But that's all right. We'll manage. I'm sure people have got game overs lots. Well, I have anyway. Um, Ugo, join me. Welcome to court. Let's leave that there for today. I will see what magic I can work behind the scenes. Uh, to to ensure that we don't get a game over because that wouldn't be ideal. Again, we are we're on cutting edge stuff here. Republics before republics were even a thing is never never ideal. Not really meant for public consumption. But here we are. Thank you to the insane executive producers for making this channel possible in the first place. A big thank you goes out to James Shea, Cat, Huey Longdon, Psycho Fear, Spooky Booty Banger, Christian Blue, Kekvit Array, Night Rouge, Necrofilin. Alex Galibur, Nemesis Rubius, Elval Context, Oliver, Boop, Dork, and everyone else, of course, at the executive producer tier over on Coffee. A big thank you to you guys for making the channel possible. And a thank you as well to Valo, Consulus, Fiddle, Piddle, Diddle, Riddle, Davidovich, Emerald Beam, Dave TLV, Ie Dumas, Uve Wave, Waveway, Zafio, Hallin, Jonah, 
Batsman's Max, El Zilcho, Jesus, Nox Immortalis, The Gentleman Ghostronaut, Tom Pash, Moondoggy, Marcel, Extra Smooth, and everybody who has ever watched this video in existence. I can't read you all out because I imagine there'll be at least a dozen or two.